by temporary cash transfers to cushion the economic impact on individuals and businesses. In building forward stronger, one area in which Jamaica has placed significant emphasis First go to YouTube, it's your boy Kevin and today I'm there with the video people. You see me? The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Mr. Andrew Olness, aka Bro God, he did an interview and he was talking about how he wants to build Jamaica with a lot of infrastructure and everything and I'll now me not hear him say he might go start looking out for the poor people them. Everything near my talk about in this interview, he was talking about big business. So he's catering for the rich. He's not catering for the poor people. Let me put him in a power. You see, Jamaicans, we need take a look at this video and tell me what you think. By the ongoing health crisis. I also welcome the opportunity to contribute to these discussions which seek to identify solutions for small island developing states centered responses to the current challenges, as well as those which are likely in the post COVID era. Like many other countries, Jamaica is experiencing a contraction in economic activity, coupled with increasing social and health related expenditures that have adversely impacted our fiscal position. Nevertheless, in our response to the pandemic, we have launched the COVID-19 allocation of resources for employees care program in April 2020 to provide temporary cash transfers to cushion the economic impact on individuals and businesses. In building forward stronger, one area in which Jamaica has placed significant emphasis is building resilient digital infrastructure. This we believe will serve as a force multiplier in narrowing the gaps that result in inequitable development outcomes across all sectors. Jamaica will continue to support the proposal of EOSIS to establish a SIDS compact to deliver debt relief and increase resilience financing. This we also believe is one way to address our debt sustainability. It is imperative that as SIDS, we are also able to invest in the resilience of our economies to climate change and other external shocks. Consequently, the COP26 discussions must be action-oriented and serve to focus our attention on fiscal space and debt sustainability in SIDS alongside climate finance commitments. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in addressing our challenges and implementing our priorities, we recognize the need to deepen multilateral functional cooperation. Jamaica therefore continues to place high priority on the ongoing work under the Financing for Development Initiative in the era of COVID-19 and beyond, for which I am one of the co-conveners. We're confident that the policy options which are being actioned under this initiative will greatly assist the international community to take the decisive actions needed to shape the required COVID-19 response and recovery, in particular for the most vulnerable. The leader's declaration, which we will adopt today, serves as a manifesto which appropriately advances the priorities of SIDS and signals to the international community actions needed to provide effective, targeted, and scalable responses that can lead to more resilient and even recovery for our countries. I thank you. So Jamaican people, you see, you might worry about things when they're relevant. Yes, we know climate change is a thing. Yes, we know about the health field. Yes, but at the end of the day, you say if we put you in a power, you see me? You are going to do different. You see me? You are going to live for the people. But when you see I live for the people, you only want to build big business and collect this big money. But you don't cater about what happened. 
to the Jamaican people, let me put you in a power. People are pro protesting. Look what you do. You make the police with your serve and protect the people. Them. A pepper spray them. If you don't right, if it's just freedom of speech. You make them have push them with button. You make them like call the news reporter. What you going to do? But as simple as somebody disrespect you, the police, them are supposed to serve and protect. You send them go lock up the people. Them. I will see a video go around where you would say, every job been getting lose it. Yes, I know. We don't see you say, you go try to help them. We don't see how you help Jamaican people. You only make the Jamaican people, them have to turn to different things. You don't help them. We don't need to call election and vote out on Joelness. Yeah.